Top 10 Worst Game Attack Mistakes I've seen way too many players make these mistakes over and over again, and it just makes their game attack look messy, cringy, or unoriginal. Number 10 is using underscores at the beginning or at the end of your game attack. This just gives off the vibe that your username is already taken, and that you just put an underscore there to try to get the name that you want. Now an underscore in the middle of the name is alright because you're using it as a spacebar, but at the beginning or at the end of a name, that's just giving the name taken vibes. So coming in at number 9 is including your full name. Now this just seems like you didn't even try, it just sounds like you're just signing up for an office job. Something I would try to do is use your first name and do something creative with it, so like Nick Marks for example. At number 8 is putting dots or x's in your name. Again, this just looks like your planned username was already taken and that you just added these to get the name. Plus it also looks cringy as it makes you seem like you're trying to make your username sound cool. Imagine Stroud's name being x.stroud.x. It just seems so unoriginal and something like a 9 year old would do. Plus, it makes the name messy and just too much, especially when you already have a long name. At number 7 is including your channel or page on your gaming tab. So for example, my gaming YT. I would much rather stick to something like just my gaming. I've been using my gaming YT for a long time and I found out that barely anyone I played with even cared that I had YT in my name. TTV is also not really helpful either. Only a handful of people that I played with that had TTV in their name I actually checked out. Plus, most of the time after the match, people stop watching you anyways. This is even worse after you put IG or TW after your gaming tag because realistically, who wants to look at your Twitter? It's so funny to me how someone would actually add TW at the end of their name expecting to gain followers on Twitter out of all places. Number 6 is adding numbers in front of a name. Now yes, I do hate numbers in general on gamer tags, but since so many people use them, I'll say that I only recommend adding numbers at the end of a name, if it is absolutely necessary. If those numbers have some significance. If they don't, don't add numbers at all. Now I think that numbers at the front of the name just looks off. Like if I say 29 Tyler, it just messes up with your head. If I say Tyler 29, it's much easier to say and read. Next is using numbers as letters. So for example, if you want the name Ball, but instead of the two L's at the end, you've placed them with ones. This not only is some cringy middle school type shit, but it also kind of throws the clean name out the window. Instead of this, I would recommend you to replace letters with other letters that sound the same. So from Cookie to Cookie with a K, or something creative like what FaZe did. So basically, FaZe replaced PH with F. An easy example of this working is with the word cat. Instead of C for T, use K-A-T. It's just a lot cleaner. Number five is doing something cringy like underscore killed you or underscore the sweat. Not only is it just cringy, it also just gives you this try hard vibe. Also, whenever you got killed, someone is just gonna come at you for that. Number four is using capital and lowercase letters in the same word. Like for example, X-Q-C-O-W. It's just not it. Like there might be some underlying meaning, but most people will just look at that as a messy and weird username. Either use it in a different word or initial, so for example, XQC and then capital O, capital W, or just everything capital is much more pleasing. At number 3 is using too many symbols. Now I think that symbols and special characters do add to the look of a nickname, but I didn't think more than one symbol is just too much. I think the most ideal way to add a symbol is at the end of a clean and short name. Other than that, it will tend to look messy if you add multiple symbols, especially in the middle of your name. Number 2 is a gamer tag that you think makes you look tough. For example, gunkiller underscore 420 or deathkiller 17. Like who's genuinely thinking that this is like the hardest name to ever exist? This just screams 9 year old trying to act tough. No one's gonna think that this goes hard. And at number 1 is a gamer tag where someone's trying to be funny, but they just have the lamest humor. For example, stupid butt poop or stinky butt. Like bro, is that supposed to make me laugh? Some are unironically trying to be funny. Some are just so bad that I laugh just because the joke is so like second grade humor. But for real though, these just make me cringe. Alright guys, if you follow these tips, I guarantee you that you will have a better gamer tag. If you want a top 10 tips to improve your gamer tag video, um, I would think about making it. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day.